Hey guys, Brandon here, and this is just a really uh, quick review. Um, first of all, I want to say Happy Independence Day to everyone, and, um, and this is going to be really probably one of the shortest reviews I've ever done. Uh, I just got out of uh, the Boaz Yakin uh, film Max, and I would actually do this Felix style because I'm actually wearing patriotic uh, attire, but you know, I just figured I'd do this audio because it's much easier. Uh, basically, Max, um, for, for those of you who haven't heard about this film, basically it's a movie about uh, a, a war dog soldier uh, whose handler uh, dies after trying to rescue a dog who's been in an explosion and uh, the, the dog gets a uh, PTSD and uh, and he goes to live with the um, with the dead soldiers uh, family and the the dead soldiers uh, a brother basically takes the dog in and they start to get along fairly well you know the, the boy tries to help the dog, the dog tries to, you know, to, you know, work, work with this, uh, work with, you know, this, this guy who is the brother of his old partner, his deceased partner, and basically, it's a really kind of sweet movie, and also, it's probably one of the most jumbled movies I have ever seen thus far this year. It, it jumps around to all these different genres of film. First, you think it's going to start off as like, you know, a drama with this war dog who used to be in the war, you know, and coming to live with his family, you know, and dealing with his PTSD, very emotional. But then it jumps into this teen romance thing with the boy and this, and this outcast girl and her really annoying brother. <sighs> and then it jumps into an action-adventure plot point that's good. This movie is a really tough case to crack because it's, I mean, I mean, the dog was really, really a good a well-trained animal actor and he was probably the best part in the movie but the story surrounding the dog and and the fact that they it, it sells itself as like it's gonna be a war movie with war dogs and you know you're gonna see a bit of the dog Max's past you know and you're gonna see him fighting the war and you know and he'll have flashbacks to the war and whatnot and you know it sort, of, it sort of sells itself as a tribute to war dogs, but it's not. It's more of a, it's more of a family action adventure flick that, frankly, better would better serve on the small screen than the big screen. But that's just my opinion. But from from the from what I saw, I felt that. Even though it was sort of cliched and it was sort of, you know, the, that that I could punch that one kid, the chewy kid. You you all know if you see the movie, but but personally, I felt that the the really emotional moments with the boy helping the dog with his uh, PTSD, you know, especially that fireworks scene that you probably have seen in the trailers. Um, if you see, if you've heard of the movie, if you've seen the trailers for it, you seen that fireworks scene it's really probably the best scene in the movie any scene where the boy and the dog are, are together are, are are pretty good and but personally I think that's what makes the movie work is the relationship between the boy and the dog the all the other stuff with the action and the and the other actors it's just all cliched and but fr frankly like, I felt the emotional moments sort of outweighed the negatives of it. And it's just a really sweet family film, and 
you know, if you got the time and you're looking for a good family flick to check out and you haven't seen Inside Out or or actually Minions hasn't come out yet, but if if you're looking for a good family fair, especially during this particular uh, Independence Day weekend, I definitely recommend Max. And that is about it, and I will see you guys in my next review. Take care.